Tableau 2020.1 is here with exciting ways to bring powerful interactivity to your data, delivering some of the most requested features from the Tableau community. With dynamic parameters, which ensure your dashboards always reflect the most recent and relevant data, visually follow and understand how your data is changing to tell more powerful data stores with busy animations, and finally, 2020.1 brings login-based license management, which allows organizations to easily deploy desktop apps, no product key needed. Let's dive into what else is coming in this release. To start off, I am going to cover some of the improvements to data in this release. Get to the right data faster. See Google BigQuery, Google Sheets, and Cloudfire connections in the Tableau Catalog Connect to experience when the data management add-on is enabled on your deployment. In 2020.1, we added a connector to Impala, which will allow you to connect to Cloudera Impala data natively on desktop or from the web authoring experience on Tableau server or online. We've updated our Salesforce connector to provide faster performance, greater flexibility, and even more data to play with. First, we changed the way we connect to Salesforce data. The connector now dynamically switches APIs depending on how large your data set is, greatly increasing performance. Additionally, the Salesforce connector also now supports using SOQL language in the same way that custom SQL can be used today, adding flexibility to your analysis. Finally, you will now be able to connect to additional data objects like Salesforce activity history and campaign influence, giving you even more data to see and understand in Tableau. We've also added Snowflake role support. It is now possible to override the default role in the Snowflake dialog, and the role defined in the connection can be applied in OAuth scenarios. Now that we've covered some new connectors, let's switch gears and talk about updates to Tableau Prep Builder. We added LOD calculations to simplify the ability to prepare and analyze your data at multiple levels of granularity in Tableau Prep Builder. No more multi-step flows to get the desired aggregation. Instead, use Tableau Prep's visual and easy-to-use calculations. We've also added more support for the initial SQL parameters. You can now use the Tableau Server User, Tableau Server User Full, Tableau App, Tableau Version, and Workbook Name as parameters in your initial SQL for Tableau Prep. While building your Prep Builder flows, you may occasionally want to change the connection attributes or the credentials for your input steps. With this release, we are making it easier to quickly map your input steps to the originating connections in the Connections pane. Simply select one or more of your input steps, and all the connections associated with those inputs will be highlighted in the Connections pane. Add cleaning operations in bulk without waiting to see the data update in the Profile panes. Hit the Pause button, add your operations, and then click Resume to see the collective results of all the new steps you added. Now, let's talk about improvements made to the data management add-on. Add credentials in Prep Builder before publishing your flow to Prep Conductor. This will allow you to create new credentials in Tableau Server that you can choose to use with the flow you are publishing. If you are using Tableau Prep Conductor in Tableau Server or Tableau Online to operationalize your flows, you need to be able to seamlessly navigate between the desktop and server experience. With compatibility mode, only features that are fully compatible with your server version will be active. If a feature is incompatible, it will be grayed out and disabled. In this release, we also added some improvements to Tableau Catalog. With the data management add-on, users can now filter to a particular connection type or data sources with certifications or data quality warnings in the Connect to Data experience. Get to the right data faster. Additionally, you can connect to the right data more quickly by creating a workbook directly from the external assets page. Now that you have heard all about the awesome feature updates around data and data management, let's talk about the updates made to Visual Analytics. You asked and we listened. Say goodbye to republishing workbooks with parameters every time the underlying data changes. Set your parameter once and Tableau will automatically update the parameters list of values every time someone opens the workbook. We've also added Viz animations to help you see and understand your changing data. It's easy to track the logical steps behind data's evolution and to tell powerful data stories. Sorting, filtering, adding fields, and other actions will now smoothly animate your visualizations. 
Choose whether to turn Viz animations on or off and decide how you'd like to best apply Viz animations to your new workbooks. Do you have a need for spatial analysis? Well, we added buffer calculations to allow you to visualize the distance around point locations. Give Tableau three parameters, location, distance, and a unit of measure. And a buffer, or a boundary, is instantly created. Answering complex spatial questions becomes easier than ever before. Visualize which properties are within 200 meters of a proposed transit site, or how many competitor stores are within one mile of their store, and more. Ever wish you could show your organization's information on the Tableau desktop home screen? Well, now you can customize the Discover pane that appears on the Start page in Tableau Desktop to show your own custom content instead of the content Tableau shows by default. Provide links and information specific to your organization to make it easier for your users to get started using Tableau quickly. Learn more about it on our website. In this release, we also added improvements to explain data, which continues to get better and better with performance improvements for wide data sets and refined models to help you go deeper into your data. Tableau's Python integration server, TabPy, is being moved to a Tableau-supported 1.0 version. This update includes a simplified install, user authentication, secured connections over SSL, and pre-built statistical models. The next topic we'll be covering in this release is improvements to Tableau Public. If you love using Tableau Public but wish you could do more, then this feature release is for you. With extensions, you can create more customized visualizations. We are now supporting the image map filter, single checkbox parameters, and filter bookmarks extensions on Tableau Public. These extensions are available for download in our extensions gallery. You've already heard about the features we release for our analysts. Now it's time to hear what we improved on for the web. We've made exporting dashboard objects easier with a new dashboard object which allows you to export in the dashboard format you determine. Quickly choose the export format, image type, and button styles to make any dashboard easily exportable for end users. For those of you that use Pages and Desktop, we have made it possible for them to work in the browser. Just press play directly in the browser to see how a given measure affects the rest of your data. Combined with Viz animations for smooth, coherent transitions showing changes between states or over time. For those explorers looking to add more detail to your worksheets, you can now bring more interactivity and richness to your dashboards by adding visualizations to your tooltips directly in the browser. Additionally, as an explorer, you will be able to control more aspects of your map in the browser. Change background map styles, repeat backgrounds, map layers, and demographic data layers. In addition, the Style Picker dropdown makes it easier to find and distinguish between map styles. Finally, let's cover the IT and governance features that have been added in 2020.1. If your organization has ever struggled with the management of license keys, then this feature may be of interest to you. Login-based license management, LBLM, allows creators to activate Tableau Desktop or Tableau Prep by simply logging into these products with their Tableau server credentials, no product key needed. Admins can assign, monitor, and reclaim Tableau Desktop or Tableau Prep access directly from Tableau Server instead of distributing license keys to end users. This licensing option is available to role-based customers. Contact your account team to learn more. As part of the server management add-on, you can now leverage network storage devices for backup snapshots, which significantly reduces the time required to perform a backup. You can also use this new capability to streamline your deployment topology by centralizing your file store, eliminating the need to run file stores on multiple nodes in a Tableau server cluster. To allow permissions to be structured to match a customer's organizational hierarchy, we added permissions for nested projects. You can now control the permission settings separately for content and a project in any nested projects it contains. Improve navigation and organization of your site's content and allow site admins to delegate more effectively to non-admins. We've also improved the way server and site admins limit the number of license types on their sites. This update will also allow server admins to delegate license allocation to site admins. Finally, we improved the permissions dialog. With a major update to the permissions dialog, you'll be able to set up permissions for users and groups faster and easier than ever before. 
Updates include new action-oriented permission templates, the ability to search both users and groups simultaneously without pre-selecting your choice, and a new copy-paste function for permission rules. All of these updates are wrapped in a more intuitive user experience with stylistic refinements. Thank you all for attending this What's New in 2020.1 session. Please visit our website to download the latest version and test out all these great features for yourself. For more information regarding this release, please visit these pages.